a $4.3 billion loss for the last half of 2009. So we're now down to Dagan suing ourselves. Disgraceful. Disgraceful because the UAW was rescued by the American taxpayer. The U union jobs were rescued by the American taxpayer and they're paying us back. Well, wait a minute. They're actually not paying us back because we still own 60% of the company, but we're getting payback by a lawsuit. So we're going to pay to now fight this suit by the UAW. Gary Kappa? Well, look, uh, the unions and the administration are very close together. Uh, they got gifts uh, in the health care bill. And now I think they're just reaching out and saying, OK, uh, Barack, uh, help us out with this by the lawsuit of GM. And I got to tell you, they're going to get their money. Uh, this is run by uh, the government, unfortunately. The people uh, in government have a say in the matter, unfortunately. And they will have their way. And we will be paying for it once again as we connect the dots. What I'm wondering, though, Adam, what's been developing in the past week is you have the Democratic mayor of Los Angeles, himself a former union organizer, I believe, who is demanding that unions, public unions, give up some ground here, 5 percent pay cuts if only for a year, just to help the city stabilize. Yeah. You have a Democratic governor of New York himself, at a time, a big friend of unions. Now, of course, no one likes him. But, but at the time, <laughs> at the time, David Patterson was popular. And, and, and he's saying, look, I need you guys to give a pound of flesh. At the same time, in the neighboring state of New Jersey, my home wonderful state, uh, where you have a Republican governor pretty much preaching the same. And, and they're at loggerheads. What, what, what happens? What happens? Well, well, I, I think these are these are two separate subjects. As far as the politicians you just talked about, I think they're doing exactly the right thing. The the unions are a profound budgetary problem in these states and cities. They have to come to the table, and they're, they're it's not, going to get not, ugly. Adam, they have they're not. They, you know it. I know you love well, these guys. Well, they're going to be. I, I love these guys. I'm just telling you, they're not. No, no, I think they'll be forced to come to the table. I think the next governor of California, for example, uh, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican, is going to haul him to the table. Schwarzenegger tried and failed. No, no, the next be, governor no, will no, have no, to... It, will it, have it to. could be Iron Man, and it wouldn't happen. Ben Stein, I'm just saying that, that <laughs> if the trend is that, look, we, we, we need unions to start recognizing where we stand, and they don't, and they won't, what? Well, to him who hath shall be given. Even what little and mm -hmm. with not shall be taken away. The unions have got it. They've got political power. They've got judicial power. And you know something? I was going to say to you that a judge will decide this. So it really won't matter what the political rights and wrongs of it are. But that's not true. Because the government could say, you know, we're not even going to let it go before court. We'd like to have a settlement. And they probably will settle. And it may, may well be that these claims are meritorious. But as to the basic point, the public service unions and the teeny tiny fraction of the non-government population that is a unionized has wildly disproportionate power, just wildly disproportionate. Now, I'm a union member. I'm the only, buddy on this, only person around here I suspect is a union member. I love my unions, and we have lots and lots of political power, and I love that, but as a taxpayer, <laughs> it scares me to death. They're getting more and more political power, though, because there are now more people in unions in the pro public sector than there are in the private sector. But, Dagan, you're, you're, you're suing GM. You're in the position to sue a company that was rescued. Had it not been rescued, your pension benefits would have been dumped on the PBGC, the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. You would have had pennies on the dollar anyway. And now you're coming back to bitch at the company that was saved. At some that's levels, it's that's because, what human beings do. Because they, they, yeah, right. because they have the politicians in their pocket, and they're also, it's, they got their hands in each other's pockets, and they know they can get away with it. They have it. contracts, Period. Dagan. No, excuse me? They have contracts. They, they have contracts. There's also bankruptcy. Oh, yeah, uh, and there was something called bankruptcy I understand. as well. Right. I understand. Exactly. But mark my words, right. they're getting more powerful. You put money in politicians' pockets, the politicians will give them more power. It's just ironic. Anyway.